Hey Joshua. <clears throat> What's up Joshua? I need to take my allergy medicine. eyes hurt. Do I want to be up right now? No. No, no, no. But I got to. I asked my daughter if she wanted to come over for a little bit. <coughs> You're a pretty bird. Oh, they're two pretty birds. <clears throat> one moves, the other one moves. <laughs> it's too cute. Well, they're listening to the ground to see if they hear the worms. Well, there's another pretty bird. The one bird was pointing its head like this to the ground. Yeah.
Uh, so what is everyone else up to today? Sorry me, I have to go to work. Loads of fun. Even though I don't want to. But my boss gets a three day fucking weekend, you know. <clears throat> Must be nice. Fucking Friday. I'm so tired. Shania starts working tomorrow. That she does. I won't have this view when I move over to the other camper. You know that. I won't be able to see the gobble gobbles. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I won't be able to see the deer. It's okay. <clears throat> We're scratching your ear, Colossal. Stop it. Colossal. Stop. Again, what? Hey, Fred. Uh, it's going, my dude. It's going, my dude. Just sitting here. Relaxing before I have to go to work today. Do I want to go? Not really. <clears throat> not, not really, but, hey Rose, but I gotta make the money to pay the bills, and, hey Jasmine, what's up, <clears throat> you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills, you know. All I ever do is work, come home, work, go home. So, woo! <laughs> Let's see, got paid today. It's Friday. 
150 of his check is going to our rent. Been raining here since 1 a.m. so far over an inch of rain. In. It hasn't rained here yet. Excuse me, sorry. Yep, I'm listening in my from my cubicle at work right now. <laughs> right? Hold on, I gotta sneeze again. <laughs> oh. It's horrible. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh. I'm with Heaven at Railing Field Day. Okay. Thanks for telling me, you know. I'm just your mom. You didn't tell me beforehand. Or yesterday. How's your leg feeling anyway? I might sneeze again. God dang it. This is going to annoy me. I keep buffering. Dad knew for a couple of days. No one said anything to me. Same here. Owning your own business is... And no one wants to work seven days a week. No rest, and I do not sleep, and up at 3 a.m. daily, because I can't sleep, yeah. I mean, look, do I want to work? No. Do I have to work? Yes. I have to buy groceries. I have to get, I, ha I need to get... You know, pay my bills, pay my cell phone bill, you know. All that shit adds up, and you, you can't, you gotta work to pay for all that shit. I mean, I don't qualify for the Obama phones, so. I don't qualify, so. I don't qualify for the free internet either. Yeah. Tell me how fucked up that is. Crystal should get her last check from that, from working over there. It's only gonna be two days, some shit like that. So. I bet she is. Field days were always fun in elementary school. I spilt my coffee on the table today. I gotta take my allergy medicine. Hey, Big Tender. I gotta work. I ain't got no choice. I have no choice but to go to work, so. It's way different from when I was younger. Every school does it differently. Mm. Every place says it. Yep, I work pretty much every fucking day. Piggy is curled up to Colossal's butt. Very dangerous area to be snuggled up to. He's gonna end up gas chambering, chambering her, her ass. 
I can go to work when I feel like, yeah, see, I can't. I have to go to work no matter what. Not when I feel like it. I wish. Found a frog and was home. I told you to leave the goddamn frogs alone. You don't listen. The pretty birds are out. They're trying they're trying to get the worms in the ground. So all I'm seeing is the pretty birds. I'm not, I'm not seeing none of the gobble gobbles or the four legged fender benders today. Then I gotta drive your dad's car. I hate driving your dad's car. I really fucking do. I hate driving it. Especially to work. I feel like an idiot. Fucking clown car. God damn it. Stop it. Internet. Knock it off. Internet's pissing me off. Ugh, there's pennies in here. <clears throat> Look, here comes my baby, one of them. Fly. Hi, sissy. Look, my bear's got a bunch of pennies in here. Well, technically, they're my, it's my change now, but... Got a bunch of pennies. What did your mommy hate? Pennies. Pennies. What about underwear? Uh, not underwear, but diapers. Crystal. Before she started her, you know what? She can at nighttime keep from linking everywhere. You're gonna need those when after you have the baby. I know. And if you push it out, we'll have to make you a cold pack. Cause it's gonna take down the swelling and the pain down there. Bag of peas. Ew. Or a pack of frozen hot dogs. No. Wrapped in a paper towel. No. That there's your cold pack. No. No, we actually have the ice packs that you use for your lunch over there. Yeah, no, you don't want to do those because you got to sit on it. You take one of those big overnight pads ones, get it wet, put it in the freezer. Stick it in the freezer, and you got yourself an ice pack for down there in your lady bits after you have a kid. Good little trick. And then, and then they give you a peri wash to, cause you can't wipe down there. You gotta spray down there. Yes. Ew. Yes. When it, she's due in November. Yep. November 10th is her due date. Tim's birthday. I hope and pray it comes after or before. <laughs> I'm just saying. It'll probably come before. Because they're going off my last period on the due date. Not FYI, the... I bet you it'll come after. Because they're always fucking late. The first ones are always fucking late. Yeah, the little peri, peri spray. Like a little fucking water bottle, water bottle that has 
It looks weird. You squeeze it, and it. It's probably. It's probably gonna be boring closer to your birthday. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably gonna be closer to your birthday. Maybe. Cause they're going off two weeks more than how big and how old the baby actually is. They're going off two weeks more. So. Aww. Piggy snuggling with Nine Nine. Monday, sis. I need you to do my hair. Okay. It'll be later in the afternoon. Piggy snuggling up with Nine Nine. Someone got bogeys. Yeah, she won't let nobody get them, so fuck it. I give up. Yeah. She gets all pissy, hit Huffy Puffy, and then she won't look, she won't come near me for days. I don't like that. She won't come near me for days when I clean her, but her, her eye bogeys. Or try to get the bogeys out of her nose. No, she won't come near me for days. Let me get them. Voila. You better be glad it's because you're pregnant. I always get her eye bogeys. Always. I always get her eye bogeys and her nose bogeys. Yeah, she won't let me. She literally that that little bitch will ignore me for fucking days on end. When I try to get, clean out her nose and stuff because her nose is kind of twisted, so I have to clean her nose ever so often. Hell no, she hates me after that. <laughs> she loves me when I do it. Yeah, here soon we'll be having her gender reveal, which I'll be doing that on. My next appointment's this 26th, and then they said the one after this one, I would be able to see what gender it is, so I want to have it before my next one. Well, I got to order the stuff. I know. Um, so once I get everything that's ordered, then we're going to set it. It's going to be on a day I have off. Yeah, that's what I told. So. Yeah, no. Tim thinks uh, Michelle's planning it. I was like, no, Mom is. It's me and Michelle. I was like, Mom is because Mom knows me better. Me and Michelle. She goes, she, Michelle's like, Mary, I need your help. Okay. I was like. Hence the reason I already know what the baby is. <laughs> I said. And I'm not telling nobody. I told him, I was like, Mom's planning it. Michelle's helping setting up. No, me and Michelle both are planning it. He but I, she's going to, she's like, Mary, you know her better than I do. So. I'm not telling because he didn't want Michelle planning it in the first place. He can suck a dick. It ain't for him. Once he gets that through his thick skull, he's not my kid. I don't do nothing for him. She's my kid. That's my grandbaby. That's my kid. My grandbaby. I do for them, not for his ass. He's a grown-ass man. He can do it for him fucking himself. You know, Grandpa called him. Not... Our, my grandpa, but his grandpa? I forgot his name. Yeah. Just called us, asked how I was feeling, and then asked if we needed anything. I told him, yeah, can you get us, like, some meat? Like, either pork chops, chicken, or ground beef, or something like that. He goes, oh, yeah, no problem. Tim, what do you need? <laughs> I was like, oh, God. And that's how I woke up. Oh, to grandpa? Even though I can't eat chicken. I can't eat chicken either. Makes me sick. But we can sure as hell eat chicken nuggies. Yeah. What are those thingies? This? Yeah. My nausea medicine. Ah. Uh. I'm supposed to put them under my tongue, but they're grape flavored. It makes me throw up. So I put a little bit of something to drink in my mouth. And I throw one of these and I hurry up and swallow before it starts to dissolve because it dissolves instantly. Eef. But it's grape flavored and I hate artificial grape. It tastes nasty as hell. True. And I have a really strong taste of it. It makes you go... <coughs> <laughs> when I first did it, because she's like, oh, put it under your tongue. It'll, it tastes okay. It's not bad. I was like, okay. Puts it under my tongue. <laughs> she goes, You don't like grape flavor, do you? I was like, Uh uh. 
They should have other ones that aren't grape flavored. I asked. The only medicine, other medicine that they have is shit that don't work. And this is my last refill. It comes in uh, a thing of 10, and there's three of them that come in the package. So mm -hmm. it's 30, but you're supposed to take them every eight hours as needed. And I always end up having to take them twice a day. So they only last for 15 days instead of 30. Come say, look, you need more than that. Yeah. And this was my last refill. I got to talk to her on the 26th, which is a week from today. It's on to Friday next week. A week from today. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I know. I told Michelle, I was like, I'm, get, I'm gonna get my medicine today. <clears throat> and then, I probably won't be nauseous while I'm working. Because she was afraid that I was gonna be nauseous. She hired me up there. Room service. Good. I told her the only thing I'm gonna have to have help with is if you are using bleach to clean everything. Allergies. Here's the bottom of Benadryl, but I don't feel like falling asleep again. That shit don't work for me. You had to take it more than just one time. I took two of them. Four hours. No, you had to take it every day. Your body has to build up to it. Yeah, no. Because this it. is like off-brand Claritin. No, fuck that shit. I'd rather stick with Benadryl. That shit works. Benadryl knocks me out. Sit here. Dad needed a clean pair of boxes, I'm assuming? I don't know. Those have been hanging up there since he washed them. Oh, Long Jesus. those pair of pants in there. I knocked on Mare's door yesterday, right? While she was over here. Because I thought she was over there. Yeah. Dr. Fish opened the door with no pants on. Just in his boxers? I don't know. He had a shirt on. He was hunched over, so he was covering everything if he wasn't wearing boxers. But I was like, here you go. I looked at him, I was like, here you go. He goes, what's that? I was like, cigarette money, here you go. <laughs> I was like, we just got dishes that we need to get done. <laughs> Colossal, that is enough! And then when he came over and did the go. dishes, I hid in the bedroom. <laughs> I haven't been able to look him in the eyes. <laughs> 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 that is funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like me walking in yeah, on my dad I with no this, pants but this on. Sucks. I never had that spray because I never delivered kids vaginally, so I got but, cut open to have them. But yeah, Jazz Jazz starts laughing. <laughs> but it's like me walking in on my dad with no pants. It's awkward and weird. <laughs> Like, I walked in on Dad without no pants on once here, but that's because I don't knock. I just walked well, in. Well, he wears boxers, so. I know. I walked and in. And nothing on him flaps getting, out, so. <laughs> I walked in on him getting ready for work. And I was like, oh, God. I was like, I'll see you later, Dad. Well, I don't expect you guys to have to knock here. Yeah. You're my kids. These were closed like they are normally at night, so. FYI, if they're still closed in the, during, in the morning, your dad's getting dressed. I know. Or you're getting dressed. True. Soon, soon, we won't have that. We'll have a bedroom to get dressed in. But I gotta fuck it. <coughs> get curtains for all the way around. Has anyone because the people that were in there were fucking dumbasses. And ripped out all the fucking curtains. All of them. In the bedrooms, in the living room area, all the curtains are gone. What? Why? That makes no sense to me. I hope Absolutely thing isn't none. on fire again. Smell. I don't know. Can you go out there and check? Yeah, because it smells like burnt plastic. It is, I'm gonna be pissed. Is it? No. I'm gonna have her take the dog out for me. 
Can you take him out so he'll stop? Goddamn dog. Yeah, I find that fucking funny, though. That is funny. I don't get to sit with her very often. She is four months right now. Four months. She's almost 15 weeks. Tink, chill, my girl. Chill. You horny little devil. Yes, my cat is in heat. She's rolling around my floor right now, making chirping noises and backing it up on every fucking thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I had to pull a tick off of him yesterday. I'm not surprised. It's summer now? Off of his ear. It was gross. I think it's summer now. Or spring. Still, so, I don't I fucking don't know. Everybody goes, what are you going to do this summer? I'm fucking working. That's what I do. I'll be working this summer, too. Only once a week, but... I gotta come in at 10. Well, you're only gonna work on Saturdays? Yep. Uh, she said if she needs me on Sundays, she'll let me know. Is it okay? Oh, well, she needs me on Sundays, she'll let me know. Don't drool on her. Why she likes it. She's a weirdo. She loves his drools for some stupid fucking reason. <clears throat> Lay down. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so now we have to do tick check on the damn dog. Oh, be quiet, you horny bitch. Yeah, y'all, y'all, my cat is just going nuts over there. My baby girl. She just better be glad that we were able to keep her ass alive. And I was determined to keep her alive. <clears throat> Well, it was touch and go there for a little bit. Didn't know if she was going to make it or not. And now we got to, when we move into the other place, y'all, the other three cats, I got to get used to these three cats again. Oh my God, that's going to be fun. I'll be telling Shania, Shania, when I go to work, I need you over here to do referee. And she's going to be like, huh? Yeah. Runt, Luna, and Mama Kitty against these three. I need you to be referee. I got a spray bottle all ready to go. <laughs> Remember, Runt, don't get no catnip. Yeah, he gets mean on catnip. You know how catnip should be calm calm the cats down? Nah, that shit turns him into a fucking demon. No, he gets mean. My cat drove me nuts when she would go into heat. Oh my god. Two of my cats are getting fixed next month. Whether they want to or not, I don't give a fuck. They're getting fixed. I'm not dealing with this being in heat bullshit. 
Even though Piggy, I don't think it's gone into heat yet. This is Piggy's second, or, or uh, team's second or third time going into heat. Third. But she will go into heat every two to three weeks. Drives me insane. You talk to Tink, and she squats down and puts her ass up in the air. Tell her to stop it. And she just, and then her back legs start going like this. Yeah. No. Can't talk to the fucking cat because it just makes it worse. <laughs> so what do I do? I just toss her off me. Because when I'm laying in bed, she tries fucking doing that shit and I fucking toss her ass off me. And bitch, go. I love you to death, but go somewhere. Now she's using the litter box. I don't play with her ass, though. I love her to death, though. Yeah, as soon as I go over to the other camper, man, I'm telling you, I get, I get surrounded by cats. Mm -hmm. Surrounded. But, 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 baby and runt have gotten into this thing now. They go to the front of that camper, in the big window, and they'll sit there and stare at people. <laughs> I've seen that. When they go by. And they do it so they can, people will come up and tap on the glass. They do it all the time. And they'll look at them, and then they'll start, you know, rubbing on the, the glass and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Little fuckers. Ow. But you won't see Luna doing that shit because he doesn't like other people. Mom and Ryan are just sociable. They don't like little kids, though. Mom and Ryan do not like little kids. But I think with the baby coming, they'll get used to it. And I have a feeling Mama Kitty's going to be really protective over the baby, just like that one right there. Oh, Sky. Sky ain't gonna let no one go near that baby. So when the baby's over at my house, I'm gonna tell everybody, don't, don't fuck with the baby, because I'm telling you now, Sky ain't gonna let you near that baby. <laughs> but once the baby's born, there won't be no smoking or anything in the house when the baby's there. So, which means everybody will be smoking outside all the time. Even in the winter. Yep. You wanna know why? Because I'm gonna have my grandbaby all the time. Well, it's gotta it's got be divided up between me and Mayor Bear. <laughs> Mayor Bear is gonna come on and we're like, Mary, where's my, where, where's my other grandbaby? <laughs> Because as, as my kids say, that uh, Mary Bear is my, my, is my wife, you know? Yeah, my second mom. Yeah. I was like, some people are like, you don't mind um, your kid saying that she's the second mom to her? I said, no, I said, I had a second mom. I have a second mom. Get your ass she's my best this. friend's mom. I've never called her by her name. I've called her mom. I've never called her by her name. When I talk to my friend, I'm like, hey, how's mom doing? Her stepdad, on the other hand, mm, mm. How's Aunt Jenny, by the way? I don't know. But she's a grandma. Her oldest just had a little boy. And he is so fucking cute. Blonde hair. Dude, this kid has got blonde, blonde hair. Can you hand me those? What? These? Yep. When I opened it, I was like, Dad's gonna get mad at you. I don't give a fuck. You got it on your shirt. It's in the crease. But yeah. I've seen pictures of him, and he is so fucking cute. Did you know Miranda had a kid? 
Yes. I didn't know that until I looked at her Facebook the other day. Yeah, with her longtime boyfriend, whatever. How she was living with him, for fuck's sake. When her mom was in jail. Yeah, for stabbing her sister. No. Her ex-husband. Miranda's stepdad? Yeah. She stabbed him in the fucking leg. That's what Miranda told me. Miranda said she stabbed Becca. Rebecca? Her sister, the one that I always hung out with. Well, not her. That technically would be her aunt. It is her aunt. But it's her mom's sister. Yeah. Stabbed her in the leg. Oh. That's from what Miranda told me. Oh, I don't know. I heard it was her husband. Yeah, Miranda told me it was Rebecca. Well, her and Rebecca, Rebecca's gotten to where she's, acts like she's all that in a bag of fucking chips, and she's not. And it was only because um, Rebecca told her that she didn't want um, Miranda's mom around her baby. Yeah, she had a baby, too. But that was the reason why she stabbed her. So... Rebecca didn't want Miranda's mom. Miranda's mom around her own kid. Around Rebecca's kid, right? Yep. Well, it's not like the lady's all there in the head any fucking way. I mean, come on now. Yeah, she lost custody of the two younger ones because of that. They went with their dad. And Miranda went to her boyfriend's house. Yep. Because she refused to go to her dad's house. Well, sure, I would too. her dad isn't the best. Her biological dad is not the best any fucking way. So... But hopefully Miranda doesn't pull the shit that her mom did. I guess she loves her mom, but she's got to not do this stupid shit her mom did. Keep your ass out of jail. Keep a clean house. Also, her boyfriend is now her fiance. Uh huh. She showed me the ring. Uh huh. I'm just waiting for it to load up. I'll show you the ring. But, yeah. I can't wait to get into the bigger camper, you guys. I really can't. Aww. Yeah, that's her ring. Tell her, say, Mom said you need to stop growing up. Knock it off. These kids need to stop growing up. Period. I don't give a fuck. They just need to stop. Alright, give me a second, guys. I need to go to the bathroom and make me a cup of coffee. So I will be right back. First, I gotta try to get up. My hips have been locking up on me here lately. It's bullshit. Getting old sucks. Go late. Look at the earth there. Tink moves so he can lay down. Move. Muscle. Up. Lay down. Move. Would you quit backing up to me? Oh no, I'm gonna have to get a put a new battery in there.
I know. Hi, baby girl. And then we will walk <laughs> backwards. Come on. Come on. You smell like. stepping. Have a brush, Mom? Not in my purse. I'll let you get it. I didn't brush my hair yesterday, so I figured I'd brush it today. Yeah, thank you. No, I don't really want to brush my hair, but none of us do. None of us want to brush our hair, but we have to. Gotta look presentable. Ah. Then it keeps us from having knots. She's doing it again. Yes. <laughs> Move. Did she look back it up? Back it up. Back she it up. She got away from the edge. Oh, I just. 
Need her in the butt. There's the brush. <sighs> Coffee. I'm wearing jeans today. I don't care. Anything can suck my ass cheeks. I gotta find my fly swatter. I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's down there on the floor. I don't wanna grab it. Good thing you're brushing your hair. Hair's almost white. No. Looks green. Blue in certain spots and green in certain spots. Yeah, I gotta re-dye it, but it's almost white. You can see when I go like this, I got some light hairs. And you can see them. The blonde. I feel like pure white ones too. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Now that I got that, they'll leave me the fuck alone. Wonder if Mary Bear's up yet. Probably. Probably with the sun coming in. Yeah, Sky's a weird cat. He likes being brushed. I need to get another, uh, like a flea comb type thing for the cats. And use that and brush them. Get their undercoat out? Mm-hmm. He's like, bitch, brush me some more. Get out of that! Stupid! Piggy! Get out of it! I got your baby. I swear that cat gets on my nerves with that shit. Don't even! Next thing it's going is the fucking slime. Piggy. I got it. Eat your cat food. Thank you. She's like, hey, what'd you do? Piggy! I'll smack you. That poor baby giraffe I just threw. It's in the sink now. I can't wait to get over to the other camper because I'll have more. I have. I'll actually have a fucking pantry. Put just the groceries in, and use the other cupboards for my dishes and cups and pots and pans and shit. 
instead of my fucking whatchamacallit. <coughs> right now I have one cupboard for all of my pantry stuff. And it's not enough. Because when I get paid on the first, I gotta pay my storage, pay my cell phone bill, pay Steve's cell phone bill, pay Shania's cell phone bill, pay Rosetta's cell phone bill. Eventually I'll be able to pay my own. And then buy groceries. I gotta buy groceries. Can you buy me like a couple packs of mushrooms? Sliced or whole? Sliced. They're a good moon next time. And then... Ugh, I still gotta get stuff for the other camper. I gotta get a whole box of caps to cap off the propane. Because when we go to the other one, that one, that refrigerator's going. We're going to cap off the propane there. We're going to cap off the propane for over here. For that stove. Because over there, we don't have an oven. But someone threw out, I guess, threw out a, uh, uh, air fryer? Yeah, your dad's got it. I got it out, cleaned it up, and it works just fine. It's in the closet in the back. I'm like, oh, nice. He goes, well, we don't want to have a, um, we want an oven, so. I'm like, whatever floats your boat. And then what we're going to do, I got to order the, it's something for the Wi-Fi signal thing to boost it, an antenna thingy. And I'm going to get a case. For my, because I'm a, I'm a order me a Wi-Fi box and <clears throat> get the uh, the uh, another Wi-Fi box and we're gonna get a case. We're gonna put it up by the on the antenna with an extension cord coming down from it. Yeah, I'll never. I'll always have signal. Home is trying to charge me four days after I paid my bill. I owe forty five dollars. According to them. Even though I just paid it four days ago. Well not even four. Well, a little over four days ago. Did you tell them that? Mm -hmm. They'll fix it. They won't let me pay by month, so it's every two weeks that I gotta pay it. But I literally just paid it like four or five days ago. On the tenth. Nine days ago. On the tenth. Oh, it's coming up. Next week. All you had to do is go on there and do a monthly plan. I tried. But it wouldn't let me. Have your dad do it. The dad said I had to call him. Uh huh. Basically, it's over text. Yeah, that you want the monthly plan instead of the every two week plan. The only issue is I don't have $45. I know. <clears throat> and I don't have the $45 to give you. Because 150 of your dad's check is coming out today. That's going for the rent to get caught up on, so we can pay on the 15th instead of on the, on the uh, 27th of every month. <coughs> Which I need to call Monogram. About what? A job out there, quality control. 
twenty fifty an hour. And I could do Monday through Friday and they get paid weekly. So yeah, during the winter driving out there will suck, but whatever. They won't let me work there because I'm pregnant. Yeah. Stop it! But, alright guys, I'm going to jump up off here. I'm going to give them a call and check up on my application. So, love you guys. Bye.